Hi everybody, today we are going to talk about angle addition. So angle addition is very similar to line segment addition. We're going to create an equation by adding up our two smaller parts and setting equal to our large part. So this is angle ABC is 15 degrees, so I'm going to label it. And ABD, this entire big angle is 42, so that's our big part. They want us to find CBX, angle CBX, so I'll call it X. So if I do small part plus small part, I have 15 plus x equals big part, which was 42. Now I just need to solve by subtracting 15 from each side, and I get x equals 27. Now while that is going to be our answer, let's make sure we answer the question. They want angle CBD. So angle CB, um, oops, sorry, this should be a D. Um, angle CBD is 27 degrees. It is an angle, so make sure you give it degrees. Okay, um, so go ahead and pause the video and give this problem a try on your own. Okay, so this time um, the two angles you were given were both the smaller parts. So we do small part plus small part equals big part. PML is what we're trying to find and that is our x value. So we get x equals 50 and then we answer our question. So angle PML is 50 degrees. Please make sure you have the degrees on there. Okay, so here's a different type of problem that you'll see. Here um, you have to recognize that there is this box which represents a right angle or 90 degrees. So when you set up your equation, small part plus small part, so here's your first small part, here's your second small part. Um, it's going to equal 90 because that big entire angle from here to here is 90 degrees because of our little box. That's the symbol. So now we just need to solve for x. So I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to subtract 10 from each side and then divide both sides by 10. So I get x equals um, 8. And they did just want us to f solve for x, so we are done. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and give this problem a try on your own. Okay, so when we do small part plus small part, it's 50 plus 7x minus 9 equals big part, which is 90 because of our right angle symbol. Then if you solve, you should end up with x equals 7. Now another type of problem you'll see looks like this. So you have to remember, anytime you see a straight line, it always equals 180 degrees. So when we're going to set up this equation, when we do small part, plus small part, it's going to equal 180. So that's another thing to look out for. So let's combine like terms and subtract 6 from both sides. Divide both sides by 6. Let's do a little long division on the side. So 6 goes into 17 twice, and 6 goes into 54 exactly 9 times, so x equals 29. And it did ask us to solve for x, so we're done. Okay, here I'm going to ask you to pause the video again and give this problem a try. So here we have it. Uh, we have small part plus small part equals big part. You just need to know that a straight line equals 180 degrees. And if you solve, you get x equals 10. All right, the last type of problem you'll see will look like this. So when you see something like this, um, you need to make sure to mark up your picture. So this says BC, ray BC, bisects angle ABD. Well, if something bisects, it means it creates two congruent angles. So we are going to want to show that in our graph. And of course, you guys know that congruent means equal. So if the angles are congruent, it means they're equal. So we just set their values equal to one another. And then all we need to do is solve for x. So I'm going to subtract 2x from both sides. 
and divide both sides by 5. So we get x equals 4. So you just have to know that a bisector creates two congruent parts. So go ahead and pause the video one last time and give this problem a try. Okay, so remember if you see something like ray BC bisects ABD, you need to show that the two angles it creates are congruent. So you just set 2x plus 5 equal to 3x minus 2. When you solve for x, you get x, minus, x equals 7. All right, that's all. Thank you for watching.